what if i was to tell you that there is a new benchmarking tool that ranks the best of the best large language models up there as an agent well guess what it's actually true and it's able to show that chat gpt4 is still the king by far now this was shown through agent bench which is a new benchmarking tool that evaluates how large language models rank as agents now previously we had many other benchmark evaluation methods like MMLU, EVOL, and many others. However, there was never a benchmark method that would evaluate how a large language model was as an agent. Now, why do we actually need this? Well, this is because we live in a world where there are new agents, GPTs, models being released on the daily like Super AGI or Auto GPT and many others. So it makes sense to have a dedicated benchmark that measures the performance of large language models as an agent to show how they compare amongst other large language models as agents. And this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video. Now guys, Agent Bench is fully open source and this is an application that anyone can use and it's something that will showcase how you can actually download locally on your desktop. Now guys, this is something that we'll cover as we go through the research paper, taking a look at what you can actually do with this benchmark and showcasing you how it focuses on basically ranking each of the language models. So with that thought, let's get into the video. Now before we actually get into the video, it would mean the whole world to me guys if you guys can go check out our new Patreon page in which you can access exclusive features where you can get our vibrant Discord community as well as getting a chance to influence our video topics and throughout the Discord there's lots of features such as like giveaways, you have networking opportunities and many exclusive features that are out there in terms of like partnerships so if you want to check this out definitely take the link in the description below and go to the actual patreon page now guys if you guys haven't followed world of ai on the twitter definitely do so as i'm going to be posting the latest ai news so that you can stay up to date with the latest ai trends and lastly make sure you guys subscribe to our notification bell like this video and if you guys haven't seen our previous videos please do so as there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned throughout the video hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai now guys as we talked about at the start agent bench represents a groundbreaking advancement in the evaluation of large language models as an agent now what it does is that it treats these large language models as autonomous agents within a variety of different environments. Now this benchmark addresses a significant gap in the assessment of large language model capabilities as well as acknowledging their potential to function beyond more than just the text generation. Now this is by evaluating these large language models in the capacity of agents and it introduces a new dimension of basic benchmarks. Now at its core, there's distinctive focuses of how it assesses these language models as there's basically eight different core concepts as to how these different various scenarios of autonomous agents function within. Now it achieves this through these eight distinct environments and each of them represent a unique context where large language models might operate as agents we can see that there's an operating system a database knowledge graph digital card card graph uh, lateral thinking puzzles house holdings yeah web shopping web browsing and it basically makes sure that it assesses the autonomous agents through these benchmarks through the large language model and this approach basically marks a departure from the traditional benchmarks that primarily focus on evaluating language generation and this is by exposing large language models to these different situations and environments and this is what agent benchmark is able to do as it functions through these different environments to show you the valuations that are needed now let's actually take a look at a demo where we're actually in the web shopping environment and agent benchmark is able to evaluate how the large language model performs as an autonomous agent in fulfilling a specific task as a web shopping agent and it's breaking down how it is looking for a queen size bed street 
with the set color of redwood and a price lower than $80. And this is the task that is given. So what is happening is that Agent Bench evaluates the large language model's response to the user's query based off a couple of criteria, which we'll take a look at later on in the video. But it's basically focusing on understanding the user's input actually taking awareness to the contextual report as it basically utilizes how the large language model maintains context throughout the conversation. It also works towards information retrieval, generating relevant options. The, it also focuses on evaluating how the language is fluent and coherent. And through this, it is able to find at the end, I know it's lagging a little bit, it's not able to load it but it goes through different options to source the best best set that is in the redwood color and we can see at the end of the video if it loads but it shows that it was able to find it for only a set of 65 dollars and it was able to also showcase another option with the same color set priced at 74 dollars and both were able to fit the budget as well as the color preference and from this evaluation it was able to base the criteria and successfully evaluate how it would be able to positively give you the best output and it was able to report as to how fast it was able to provide the answer if it was able to provide the right answer from the forefront and lastly it was able to showcase how it was able to basically find that answer compared to other agents and this is how it's able to evaluate how the agents are able to operate and benchmark how it is as a large language model agent. Now on the research paper, it shows this figure where it provides an overview of the performance of large language models on agent bench. And it basically depicts the progress of large language models in demonstrating their proficiency in functionality as agents within the context of the benchmark evaluation. It also highlights the considerable gaps that exist between the different LLM models that are out there. And the primary message is conveyed by this figure in two folds. Firstly is the emergence of proficiency in large language models as an agent. And secondly is the significant performance gaps and distances to practical usability. And we can see that in the different types of environments that are out there as it compares all the different language models that are out there with the different environments so we can see for example with the gpt4 it's able to excel really well in most of the criteria as it has a great focus on all the environments and we can also see with cloud that it's able to reach pretty good with most of them however it doesn't do the best with the database as well as the operating systems and if you are to zoom in a little bit you can get a better idea by looking at the legend and comparing the graph with the legend now let's take a look at this second figure on the research paper as it illustrates the unique features and the scope of agent bench benchmark. Now this figure conveys the agent bench that is the pioneering benchmark specifically designed to systematically evaluate LLMs in their capacity as agents. And this is through different types of ranges of real world challenges, which you can see over here that what musical instruments do Minnesota born Nobel prize winners play and different challenges that it assesses the benchmark to basically evaluate. And from this capacity, it additionally showcases how the benchmark encompasses the eight distinct challenges or the distinct environments, sorry, to provide a comprehensive evaluation of the benchmarks of large language model agents. And we can see that as it's accompanied with the real world challenges on one side, as well as the eight distinct environments on the other side. And this is through evaluating the large language model as an agent, as it assesses a total of 25 different large language models, which is quite like astonishing as to how they're able to do this with this benchmark evaluation method. Now, here is a table that demonstrates how Agent Bench was able to evaluate 25 API based as well as open source LLMs on LLM as an agent challenge. And we can see that the models of OpenAI were tested, the Claude models by Anthropic, you have the Google model as well as many other ones that are out there and it's quite remarkable to see this as it's able to focus on different model sizes different forms as well as the different versions that are out there 
Now let's get to the next step of the video where I'll showcase how you can actually run and install this application locally. So first things first, you're going to need to have the API key that you want to use or utilize for the benchmark. And in this case, if you're going to utilize GPT models to assess, you will need to provide an open AI API key. And this is by inputting it later on in the next step of the video. But firstly, you need to have the API key ready. Secondly, you need to have Python. Thirdly, you'll need to have Visual Studio Code as your code editor, and you will need Git, which is an application that will help you clone the repository onto your desktop. Now, the next step is going onto the GitHub repository, and after you have installed the requirements, you need to go onto this repository, which I'll leave the link in the description below. And then what you want to do next is click on this green button over here and copy the GitHub repository link. Now, once you have done that, you can scroll down a little bit and then open up command prompt type in git clone and paste the link and click enter now once you're finished recloning the repository onto your cpu you can then go into the actual agent bench folder by typing in this command cd agent bench and once you're in that folder you can start installing the requirements that are needed for this application firstly you'll need to install the pip app then you'll need to install the requirements that are associated with this project once that is done you need to verify that you have successfully installed by copying this command and pasting it into your command prompt obviously with the next step you'll need to input your api key where it, this will be helped to run the applications that will be needed to assess your large language model now there's a couple other things that you can do you can run different commands that will help you as well as showing you how you can actually do so and they have a really good detailed instruction and an advanced usage uh, of this application so if you want to get a better idea definitely check this tutorial out which will take you to their actual demo page as well as their instruction page which will showcase what you need to do step by step Lastly, let's take a look at how it was able to evaluate different benchmarks in different areas as we talked about the eight different environments. Firstly, we'll take a look at the operating system. They give it a task, find the total number of non-empty directories inside the slash EATS directory. And it was able to find any valid bash commands and the observation was that the system standard output was showcasing that it was able to find the remaining non-empty directories. And from this example, we can see that it's able to do the exact same benchmark test with many of the different environments that are out there, such as a digital card game, the database, house holdings, the web shopping, which we saw earlier in the video, as well as a web browsing environment like benchmark evaluation. And this is how it basically operates with these different environments. Now, if you want to get a better idea as to some of the more inputs as well as the specifications of this application, definitely read this research paper as it's fairly detailed and it goes more in depth to showcase the more constraints as well as the more detailed analysis of how it operates with this research paper so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you got some sort of value on what agent bench is actually able to do and your how you actually can run this application on your desktop to evaluate your own large language model as an agent so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you check out the patreon page so you can get the exclusive features that are correlated with this channel if you guys haven't followed world of ai definitely do so so you can become uh up to date with the latest ai news not become but you can stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you subscribe so you can get the latest ai content over here in terms of videos and make sure you check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys very shortly peace out fellas